Welcome back. Charleston Southern University tackles racism and prejudice through music, dialogue, and spoken word. Catch CSU's performance of You've Got to Be Carefully Taught at Piccolo Spoleto. We welcome Thomas Keating and Dr. Jennifer Lucan from CSU's theater and music departments with all of the details. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank Good morning. you. Um, I'm intrigued. Tell me more about what this show is about. Well, it kind of came about because Thomas and I had been talking about our um, students and racial relations amongst them on the campus, and then everything that happened with last summer here in mm -hmm. Charleston sort of spurred us on to really tackle this. Um, there's a song actually from a musical by Rodgers and Hammerstein mm -hmm. called You've Got to Be Carefully Taught, and the mm -hmm. words of the song talk about how we're taught to think about people from the time we're very young. Mm -hmm. And so as we were thinking about how people had um, responded to the events in Charleston last mm -hmm. year and how we wanted to talk with our students about how better to respond to each other as mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. um, we began discussing how to put this show together. Mm -hmm. So yes. the two of you put it together and along wrote with the it and everything, along with mm -hmm. the students. Right, the themes are from the musical South Pacific, which okay. the title uh, comes from that song, mm -hmm. You've Gotta Be Carefully Taught. But we got together with our students um, of varying races and backgrounds mm -hmm. and through many challenging discussions um, we were able to sift through some difficult uh, subject matter mm -hmm. that we bring to light and we infuse the show with um, several uh, top-notch Broadway type songs. Mm -hmm. I imagine those conversations you said were difficult with a diverse group to sit, you know, so you would just take notes after these conversations of like this is something we need to have in the show? We did some some recording of mm -hmm. our conversations. Okay. We also took a ton of notes. There were probably four or five students that were not in the show itself mm -hmm. that were just jotting down ideas mm -hmm. and then we kind of go back and say, hey, what did we say a second yeah. ago? Mm -hmm. And then we would make decisions about whether that was a topic as a whole that should be in the show mm -hmm. or whether specific words that mm -hmm. were uttered mm -hmm. by the students made it into the show. Yeah. And it's pretty interesting how a lot of the dialogue was spoken by the individual students mm -hmm. who end up saying it mm -hmm. in the play. Mm -hmm. Was it hard to maneuver? I imagine a lot of it was very sensitive to maneuver with these students. It was very sensitive, but I think that the thing that we tried to create within the room was a very safe environment. Mm -hmm. And we said from the get-go that there's nothing that you can say in this room that is off the table. Hmm. So, I mean, it gave students license to sort of bring up those things that they had thought about mm -hmm. each other, even from childhood. And then the, the other other side, which we were very careful too about trying to, to mm -hmm. avoid the idea of sides. Sure. Like there's no one right side, wrong mm -hmm. side here. We're just bringing all of the issues mm -hmm. to light and trying to get things out in the open. Mm -hmm bringing things to light is a big part of that and I think once things are out then you can mm -hmm. talk about is this true is this not mm -hmm. true what so. will someone well I imagine there's a lot to be gained from yes. this performance but when we go what can we expect to see or feel afterwards there's, even there are going to be moments that are going to be uncomfortable it kind mm -hmm. of starts with discontent mm -hmm. but what I was about to say before you asked the question was um, we're trying to get people to really move forward mm -hmm. and leave a lot of the hurt and pain behind mm -hmm. Um, and really have the opportunity to heal. So mm -hmm. people can take away, I think, a sense of hope and a sense of uh, desire to love one another in a, in a bigger way, mm -hmm. um, more so than in a selfish manner. Mm -hmm. um, and that way, perhaps, uh, through our interactions with others, we, mm -hmm. can, we can actually heal uh, our city and our nation mm -hmm. of this kind of really old, old problem. So eloquently said. Mm -hmm. So where do we get tickets? Where do we get more information? If you go to piccolospoleto.com, mm -hmm. um, there's easy access there. You'll have to search through the theater events. Okay. And um, our show is You've Got to Be Carefully Taught. Okay. Kicks Saturday, Saturday at 4 mm -hmm. and Monday at 8 at the Footlight Players Theater, mm -hmm. 20 Queen Street, downtown Charleston. Okay. And you can go to piccolospoleto.com. I know briefly you're running out of time, but you, you guys have other performances as well? There are a number of uh, CSU folks involved mm -hmm. in the festival, and I, I would just encourage them to go to the, the, the Pico La Spoleto website mm -hmm. and look up those events because right. we're all over. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Such a pleasure to have you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Carefully Thank taught. you. Look forward to the show. Again, go to piccolospoleto.com for all information and tickets. And again, it kicks off this Saturday, May 28th, and we've got more Low Country Live in just a moment.